Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Radio Free Filler. Yes, we have a really special show for you tonight. A genuine musical treat. Vote Winklehoff. <laughs> Excuse me. As I was saying, for this program, we're going to present something called soap opera. Vote Winklehoff. <laughs> yes, I'm sure, of course. But getting back to tonight's show, this is no ordinary soap opera, nor is it even a parody of a soap opera. No, sir. This is an opera all about soap. Tonight's show is all about Winklehoff. <laughs> Pardon me, what's going on here? Everybody is voting Winklehoff. Who is this Winklehoff? Did somebody call me? Little old me? Sweet little old eminently electable me? <laughs> is your name Winklehoff? I thought you'd never ask. If that's the case, would you mind just getting Winklehoff the stage? We're trying to put on a show here. But you don't understand. I am tonight's show. Vote Winklehoff. I can't let this go on. We're not supposed to do paid political announcements. This isn't a paid political announcement. We're not supposed to have paid political campaigns. This isn't a paid political campaign either. I never pay for anything. So, what is this? Vote Winklehoff. What makes you think you can just... Vote Winklehoff. I regret to inform you that we've run out of time to perform the opera tonight. What? Vote Winklehoff. We're too far into the program. We'll have to reschedule. But what am I supposed to do now? Vote Winklehoff. Oh, all right. I'll try an interview. Now then, tonight's special guest is... Winklehoff. Have it your own way, Winklehoff. Just what office are you running for? All of them. What? How is that supposed to work? How many ballots are you on anyway? Oh, I'm not on any ballots. People should just write me in. Vote Winklehoff. <laughs> Why should people vote for you? Because I'm the only totally honest person out there. How can you say that? My whole campaign is totally honest. In what way? Well, the way I handle contributions, for one thing. Can you explain? Sure. Those other guys, they take your donations, then they turn around and spend the money on staff and posters and advertising. I suppose that's true enough. But how are you different? I don't spend money on any of that stuff. I keep it all for myself. I can't believe you're just coming out and saying that. Isn't it bad publicity? There's no such thing as bad publicity. But don't you get complaints? There's no such thing as bad complaints. But I heard that you were involved in several lawsuits a couple of years ago. There's no such thing as a bad lawsuit. And your store was the subject of a boycott. There's no such thing as a bad boycott. Then you were the target of that novelty song. There's no such thing as a bad novelty song. Excuse me. Uh, do we have a copy of that Winklehoff song? I think we have it in the audio library. Yes, here it is. Shall we go ahead and listen to it now? Sure, let's do it. Just remember while you're listening, vote Winklehoff. <laughs> All right then. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. There was a man named Winklehoff who sold a lot of things. But when he made a deal, he would attach a lot of strings. He grew so rich, his wealth was more than he would ever need. But soon his clientele became disgusted by his greed. It got so bad, the people couldn't stand it anymore. So they decided they'd no longer patronize his store. He opened up another shop and used a different name. But all the people figured out his game and said, it's just another euphemism for Winklehoff. He's up to his usual tricks again today. 
You've always got to keep your eye on Winklehoff Cause he'll do anything to get his way He'd try to trick the women to obtain illicit gain He'd say he had a snake or they could ride upon his train Or any other image he could use as an excuse But all the ladies recognized his ruse and said It's just another euphemism for Winklehoff And Winklehoff is always on the game And all he ever thinks about is Winklehoff or Winklehoff by any other name And I'll admit this fable isn't strictly necessary But I have been anointed by the asinine fairy Consider these examples if you please Or not Oh Mr. Tuna Salad Man, don't stand so close to me Your breath is like a cloud so thick that I can hardly see and I don't want to try a sample even if it's free Oh Mr. Tuna Salad Man, don't stand so close to me Oh the ear infection fairy is a very lonely soul Cause all the kids I know would rather get a lump of coal And when she comes to town, all the doors start slamming shut And if you holler, go away, all she says is Whoa! date with little Miss Root Canal? Or would you prefer a businessman who says he'll be your pal? It's just another euphemism for Winklehoff. It's Winklehoff, my Winklehoff, right or wrong. And everywhere you look you'll find a Winklehoff. Someday he'll worm his way into a song. That song always brings tears to my eyes. It should. Say, what is your platform? Vote Winklehoff. <laughs> well, how would you like to have your very own bully pulpit? Only if it's free. Of course. Just stand over here. Okay. And there he goes. It looks like his campaign is really taking off. We still have some time left. But we can't do the opera? I'm afraid not. Then let's do the screwdriver. Okay. Now and then they let a curtain drop 
So if you want to go upon the stage Well that's a job for varnishers to do So I went by the hardware store on Saturday And brought a can of varnish here for you A screwdriver wants to sing the opera But nothing happens for a week or two The carpenter says maybe I've misunderstood Perhaps this is a stage you're going through So if you're set on going through the stage I've got a plan that simply cannot fail For when it comes to going through a stage There's nothing like a sixteen-penny nail As time goes by the carpenter grows older His overalls becoming thin and torn And over many years of faithful service The screwdriver is getting bent and worn And then one day the carpenter stops coming And all the shelves begin to fill with dust And when the old shed roof begins to leak The screwdriver puts on a coat of rust A screwdriver wants to sing the opera And then a young man brings his friends around He says, I've been reviewing Grandpa's diary And there's this crazy entry that I found I'd never thought that such a thing was possible So I've come here to find out for myself He rummages around the ancient workshop And pulls the old screwdriver from the shelf He brushes off the dust and checks the diary He goes outside to see them in the sun He scrapes away the rust and says, Eureka! At last I know for sure that you're the one The screwdriver who wants to sing the opera You served my grandpa all those years and so It makes a most extraordinary story And I'll make sure the world will come to know Dustproof, rustproof, soundproof case 